this. We need to encourage people's souls. Well, obviously, obviously I'm going to die on Jesus mountain on the soul thing and say, obviously we need to encourage people to know Jesus. But you know what? Um, have you ever seen a kiwi fruit? They're ugly as sin. And I remember the first time someone gave me a kiwi fruit. As a joke, they put it in my hand. I'd never seen one before. And I thought it was like a hamster or something. And I screamed and I threw it. They're like, dude, that's food. And I go, that does not look like food. Well, when you cut it open, it's beautiful. Now, I happen to be allergic to kiwi. It takes all the fun out of the rest of the story. But kiwi fruit are beautiful on the inside. And therefore, you see how beautiful they are on the outside. And they're delicious. And everybody seems to like kiwi fruit. Running around telling people, you need Jesus, you need Jesus. You need to be like me and think like me. You need Jesus. It's sort of like waving a kiwi fruit and saying, eat it, damn it. It's delicious. The easiest thing to do is cut one of those babies open and say, take a sniff. Ah, they're really cool and they're green and they've got seeds and they smell good. Do they taste like that? The Bible says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Christians today don't offer any taste of the Lord. They just offer, they just offer a totally unbalanced dose of hateful religion over and over again. We are called to be ambassadors of peace. We're supposed to be ambassadors of humility and service. We are called to harvest souls. You cannot harvest a human soul by preaching at them. You cannot. They have to see something. They have to feel something. They have to smell something. They have to taste something. They have to experience something. Or it's just words. Just empty, annoying, clinging words. Everyone put out your hands. Show me some palm. Palm Sunday. That's why I can have to keep doing this. <clears throat> I don't know why it's never celebrated like Good Friday. See, on Palm Friday, we didn't. They didn't lay down. They didn't lay down palm leaves on the ground. Instead, someone's palms obviously were violated. Now, most likely it was his wrist because if you crucify someone in their hands, they come all rubbery and it, it rips off and then they fall forward because their legs are on right but their upper body's not right and that would, would never look good for pictures. <laughs> never look good for, I, come on, there's pictures everywhere so that's all that, that happened that day. Artists were out there painting pictures of the crucifixion. And uh, that's how we know Jesus had blonde hair because of all the artist renditions. <laughs> anyway, anyways, anyways. Symbolically, the palm is, is symbolic of the crucifixion. Symbolically, the palm is symbolic of service. Hands working, getting our hands dirty for the kingdom. And of course, symbolic, symbolically, our palms represent something that's not even symbolic anymore. Lord, I'm empty. I have nothing. But I need so much from you. I need so much from you, Jesus. And I don't know why Palm Sunday is celebrated still. I don't know why it's still in the Protestant churches. I don't know why. Because it's just really hard to turn into something but today it turned out pretty good I must say I'm quite happy with how it turned out but I knew all along that the only thing that mattered was our empty palms his crucified palms and the harvest of souls <laughs> so instead of raising your hands on this put out your palms my hands are empty my heart is full, my heart is full. Jesus, show me. Jesus, show me. How to thank you. How to thank you. My hands are empty. My hands are empty. My heart is full. My heart is full. Jesus, show me. Jesus, show me. How to thank you. How to 
spend some time with you in your presence. Cause something beautiful and awesome and magical and revolutionary to happen in their lives. Please keep everyone safe this week. Please bless everyone's finances, jobs, school, health, relationships, and anything else I have left out. Blessing upon blessing upon blessing in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. Thank you guys for coming.